All right, hello. I got a question from Miss K. Page about a question on her son's math homework or daughter. I, I forget which. Uh, and it said that the ratio of a triangle, we'll draw a triangle, is the, the ratio is 5 to 12 to 13. And all the way around the perimeter, so that means all the way around from here to here to here, all the way around the perimeter, so I'll say P equals 15. So we know that all three sides equal 15. So let's, so we know that there's all three sides added together, 5 plus 12 plus 13 equals 15. However, we don't know the length of each side, but we do know the ratio. So in this case, just trust me and know that you have to put an x in for each one. So we know that 5 plus 5 times some number plus 13 times some number plus 12 times some number is going to equal 15. So then we put the x's in here and you add them up. 12 plus 15 is 25x and then we bring down the 5x equals 15. 25x plus 5x is 30x equals 15. Divide both sides by 30, divide both sides by 30, and you find that x equals 15, 30, or 1 over 2, because 15 goes into 30 twice, so it's 1 over 2, and that's the, that's the first part of the answer. So we know that x equals 1 half. So 5, and then, so then we have to multiply each side by that. So 5 times 1 half first, so we have 5 times 1 half, which is going to equal, if you do it on a calculator, it's going to be 2.5. And then you have 12 times 1 half, so you're just dividing 12 and half, and that is 6. And then 13 times 1 half is going to equal, well, we know that uh, half of 12 is half of, uh, we know that t half of 12 is 6, so half of 13 is going to be 6.5 because we added one number. So the side lengths are going to be. The first side length down here is going to be 2.5, the second one's going to be 6, and the last one's going to be 6.5. And that is how, you, if you know the ratio, you just put x's in front of them, so 5x plus 12x plus, oh, oh sorry, there's an x, plus 13x, and you make it equal to the perimeter equals 15, and then you solve it like we did over here, and after you've solved for x, you plug it in for each side and you get side one, side two, and side three. And that is how you solve triangle ratio problems. Hope that helps. Okay, bye.